Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm incredibly excited to show you how to jailbreak iOS 8.4 untethered on all iOS devices that can update to the firmware. All right, so to start off, there are quite a few things that I need to mention in this video. And if you're a veteran jailbreaker, there will be annotations down below at the bottom that you can click to skip ahead throughout certain segments. Though if you're new to jailbreaking, I recommend watching this video in its entirety. So first, earlier today, a group by the name of PP released a jailbreak. They utilized Taiji's exploits, so they're not their own exploits, and they just rushed for a buggy release. Now, if you happen to jailbreak with PP, I definitely recommend restoring and utilizing Tai-G. So with that said, this latest Tai-G 8.4 jailbreak functions on the following. The iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPad 2, the third generation iPad, the fourth generation iPad, the iPad Air and iPad Air 2, the first generation iPad mini, the second generation iPad mini, the iPad mini 3, and last but not least, the fifth generation iPod Touch, which is what I'm going to be using to demonstrate with in today's tutorial. Which by the way, only functions on Windows-based PCs. So if you happen to own a Mac like I do, you can get Windows set up in a virtual environment. I use Parallels to get my virtual machines running, or you can borrow a friend's Windows-based PC or even use Boot Camp, which is native for Mac OS X. So with that said, let's go over some really important things now. If you happen to update your device to the firmware it's running, if it's 8.4, via the Settings app, meaning you went inside of Settings and then just general software update and you performed what's known as an OTA or over the air update, you will actually have to restore. It's very easy. Just plug your device into your computer via USB cable, launch iTunes, create a backup, restore to 8.4, restore from your backup to get all of the data back onto your device, and then follow the remainder of this video to jailbreak iOS 8.4. And now we need to disable three things on our device. This is very important and you absolutely must do this. So launch the settings app and then go to passcode. If you have a touch ID device, it will say passcode and touch ID and you need to disable everything related to touch ID and then turn off passcode lock. So just turn it off completely. As you can see, mine's already off because it only gives me the option to enable it. From there, you're going to go to settings general and then auto lock. So it's down a little bit, auto lock, and you need to set it to never. If your device happens to lock during the jailbreak process, it could cause complications. So just disable that. And then finally go back to the main settings screen, scroll down to iCloud and then navigate to the bottom. So settings iCloud and then turn off find my device. Mine says find my iPod. If you have an iPhone, it'll be find my iPhone or iPad, find my iPad. So just disable it by toggling it off and entering your passcode. I'm gonna do that now. All right, so here we go. Find my iPod touch is disabling on my fifth gen iPod. And once it does, I'm going to show you guys that it is indeed running iOS 8.4 by going inside of settings general about and down below at the bottom, as you can see for the version, it does confirm that this iPod Touch is running iOS 8.4. What's more, I also have the new icon for the music app, and it will prompt me to sign up for my Apple Music free trial once I load it. So as you can see, the graphics are loading now, and it should ask me to start my three month free trial for Apple Music. So you know this iPod Touch is running iOS 8.4. Now you're only going to need two things downloaded for this tutorial, Taiji as well as iTunes. And if you happen to encounter any sort of complication with the latest version of iTunes, whether it's 12.1.2 or you're watching this video at a later point and you're on 12.2, you may have to downgrade, though Taiji should function with 12.1.x. But again, if you have to downgrade, then I will have a link on the screen now to my untethered iOS 8.3 jailbreak tutorial, the specific segment that I go into depth on the topic of downgrading iTunes. So if you need to downgrade, click that annotation on the desktop version of YouTube and you'll be immediately redirected to that segment of the video. And once you download Taiji, you will just receive it inside of a zip format. If you have anything that handles zipped or compressed files, you can just export it to your desktop via that. But because I don't, all I have to do is just drag Taiji to my desktop on Windows 8.1 here. And because I already have it, I'm just going to replace it and then close out 
of this window, and we can continue by plugging our device into our computer just via a USB cable, and iTunes should automatically pop up if it doesn't launch it manually. And as you can see here, it's asking me to trust the connection on my iPod Touch, so I'm just going to tap on trust, and on the computer, it's asking me to click continue. It's very important that you authenticate this connection, but if you've connected to your computer since you last restored, chances are good it won't ask you to. Either way though, launch iTunes and ensure that iTunes recognizes your device. As you can see, it comes up with my iPod Touch there. That's because iTunes has successfully verified that connection. So now you can just minimize iTunes and then launch Taiji by right clicking it and then clicking run as administrator. From here, you will receive this prompt and you just wanna click on yes to run it. And then Taiji should pop up and once it does, we will continue. As you can see, it says iOS 8.4, we can do more, checking Taiji version. So it's just checking everything and it's just determining what firmware we're on. So as you can see, it says iPod Touch 5, iOS 8.4. Let's go ahead and bring Taiji over here and we're going to uncheck the box at the bottom. That's just 3K Assistant. It's a third party Chinese software distribution platform. We're not interested in that whatsoever. We just want Cydia. So check that. I'm going to zoom in here, readjust the view, and we'll get started. Okay, so now that I'm back to speed the process along, we can go ahead and enter airplane mode by bringing up control center. So just toggle airplane mode on, and this should just improve the overall speed as well as success rate of your jailbreak. So just go ahead and click on start, and it will proceed from there. So we're at 0% now, and it is moving along just fine. All right, so as you can see, it's at 20% and the device is rebooting. This stage may take some time, so just leave it connected to your computer and let Taiji do its thing. There will be an annotation again on the screen now that you can click to skip if you're interested. All right, so the iPod Touch is about to come back up. It says restart succeeded at the bottom of Taiji. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock here. Remember the 20% stage can take some time, so just exercise patience. All right, and there we go, guys. It is moving past 20% now, and we're on to 30% and counting. So it is functioning, and the only other stage it may get stuck at is 60%. And if it does, for whatever reason, just make sure that you rewatch this video in its entirety and take into account everything that I've said. And once you do that, you will ensure the success of your jailbreak. Right, as you can see, it is moving past 60%. We are golden now. It's at 80% and counting, and we should actually reboot shortly after it passes 90%.
it should get to 99% and then it will say that the jailbreak has succeeded. The iPod Touch is rebooting now. It should be up shortly. From there, we can just launch Cydia and let it reorganize the file system. At this point, I'm going to close out of Taiji and we can unplug our device because it is finished. So I'm just going to leave the iPod Touch up on the screen though so you guys can see how long the reboot should take. But again, it should just be the normal amount of time it takes for your device to come back up after a reboot. All right, so here we go. We are at the lock screen now. It's important that you turn off airplane mode prior to launching Cydia because you do need an internet connection. So disable airplane mode, launch Cydia, and then let it prepare the file system and do not exit Cydia. Let it automatically respring by itself because if it's not able to prepare the file system properly, then you will be forced into restoring. So it is crucial that you let Cydia do its thing and that you refrain from interacting with it. Remember, you don't want to have to restore. And if you're done jailbreaking and you happen to notice that some of your apps are missing, that's fine. Don't worry. Just establish an internet connection, whether it's Wi-Fi or cellular, and then launch Cydia. And once it's done preparing the file system and after it respring's, you should have all of your apps back. All right, there we go. We have the Apple logo now. It's just doing a respring. It won't take as long as a normal reboot does because it's only restarting the springboard. So we should be at the lock screen in just a second. Okay, now let's go ahead and slide to unlock, swipe over, launch Cydia again, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom after it's done loading to show you guys that Cydia confirms that this iPod Touch is indeed running iOS 8.4 and that it's a fifth gen iPod. So let's go ahead and wait for it. As you can see, we just have the loading message there in the center. Okay, and now scrolling down at the bottom, Cydia confirms that this is an iPod 5 comma 1 or a 5th gen iPod running iOS 8.4 with Cydia 1.1.18. And as for the changes, let's just go over here and prove that we can install a package with Cydia. So let's just tap on install followed by confirm and wait for Cydia to complete. All right, so there we have it, just pressing on return there. You know that Cydia does function on iOS 8.4. I'm so excited to test out Apple Music, guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section about iOS 8.4, and be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up. This is an absolutely incredible time to be a part of the jailbreak community. Not only did we receive a new iOS 8.3 jailbreak last week, but iOS 8.4 was just released, and we already have a jailbreak for it because Apple didn't close the vulnerability 
vulnerabilities Taiji exploited. So I really do hope you guys like this video. If it helped you jailbreak, be sure to subscribe. It will keep you guys completely covered on all jailbreak details in the future as well. And for those of you who are interested in winning a brand new iPad Air 2, just be sure to navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, sign up, start downloading things, come back here, of course, rate this video up, and subscribe if you're interested in my upcoming Apple Watch giveaway because I am going to hold a completely new one separate from Free Apps Fast. So be sure to subscribe to be notified of that. And if you guys want to be updated even more often, such as when I cover things like jailbreaking, just be sure to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.